Hello everyone, welcome back to my, what the heck? Hope you guys are doing super duper well. Today I spent the most I think I've ever spent on makeup before. I spent $90, but it was all half price. So I actually saved $82, which is in my opinion amazing because makeup in Australia is really expensive. Even drugstore products are super expensive. So I even have to wait like for them to go on sale to purchase things without wanting to cry myself to sleep. Um, yeah, let's just get started before I actually lose my mind. I'm just gonna read off my receipt and tell you the original price and then what I paid for it and obviously show you the product. So you guys know how hauls work. First up, I got the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which has been my holy grail mascara forever. So this is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it before. It's normally $26.95 and I paid $13.39 for it. Amazing. The second thing I got was the Glam by Manicare <laughs> lashes in 54 Kendall and they are these lashes right here. So these are normally $12.99 and I got them for $6.39. So yeah, you mean. The next thing I got is quite exciting actually. Never ever used to do anything to my brows, then I did too much to my brows, and now I think I'm finding like a happy medium. Um, so I have stuck with my other Maybelline product, I forget what it's called, um, but it has like a crayon on one side and then like a, another side to it as well, if that makes sense. I don't know. If you've seen my other hauls, I think I would have shown in that, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, I thought I'd try this out. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. So that's what it looks like there. It says, hair-like strokes, naturally defined brows, up to 24 hour tint plus and micro comb tip for hair-like strokes. This is normally $22.95 and I got it for $11.39. And I really wanted to try it out because I saw it on a commercial and I was like, that looks really good. It tints your brows as well as fills it in. So that's gonna be fun to try out. The next thing I got was the Maybelline um, Curvitude Eyeliner. So I'm not a big eyeliner wearer unless it's on my waterline in my tight line. I don't really do it on my eyelid. Yeah, my lash line or whatever it's called. Don't really do it there. I used to when I didn't even know how to do makeup like at all. Um, and then I just stopped because it just looked crap every time I tried to do it. So I thought I'd get this to maybe help me a bit with my precision. And if I wanted to do like a wing or whatever, maybe this would be good for that. I have no idea. So if you can see like the bottom of it is curved. So it goes like straight and then it curves. So I'm really excited to try this out. This was usually $18.95 and I got it for $9.39. The next thing I got is something that I've been wanting to try out for ages. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. And I got mine in 100 Molten Gold or Fondue. So it's the gold one. I know that they do have like a silvery iridescent one. But I thought this one looked a bit prettier. So that's what it looks like. This is normally $18.95. So $19. And I got it for $9.99. So 10 bucks. When I had this little dent in it, when I was opening it, my nail just went right in it and that's what happened. So that's fun. Um, but I'm, I have it on my cheekbones today and um, it applies really well. It's not like chalky. Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, it's not like, what's it called? Like chunky. Yeah, I think that's what beauty gurus say. I'm not sure. The next thing I got was the Real Infallible. Total Cover Foundation 20 in 24 Golden Beige. So I don't think I own a um, high coverage foundation. I don't think I've ever owned a high coverage foundation. Um, and this is matte and matte is like new to me because I never really wear it. So I always try to make my face look glowy, but a lot of high coverage foundations are matte. So this one looks really, really nice. I saw it on, who was I watching? Her name's Billy White. She did a August favorites, I think, or a September favorite. No, August favorites because it's September now. Um, she did that and this was in it. And I was like, okay, I have to try this. She said she was wearing it, I'm pretty sure, on her face in that video. 
I was like, I have to go out and see how much it is if it's on sale. And I was so lucky that it was on sale. Um, this is normally $29.95 and I got it for $14.99. So very happy with that. I'm wearing it on my face right now. Hopefully it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. Next, I got, which was also a buy that was inspired by Billy. Um, I got this Maybelline Master Prime Illuminating Primer with micro pearls and it actually comes out pink, which is really cool. I shall show you. So, well, it's not really pink. Actually, it is. It's more like creamy, like pink. Don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really nice. I have it under my foundation right now. And I think it just provides like a really nice glow to the skin. This is normally $17.95 and I got it for $18. No. <laughs> I got it for $8.99, so yay. So the last couple of things that I got was my favorite pair of lashes at the moment. They are the Britney Lashes by Beauty Lashes. They were not on sale. They were $7.99 like they always are. Um, and then I got the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Coral. That's what it looks like there. And this was $7.39, so. That's what that looks like there. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.